Well, I've got to say, I've never tried sports photography before, and I found that was quite challenging. Uh, it's just not something I've done much of, apart from shooting, like, show jumping. But anyhow, on the weekend, I thought, oh, I'll go down to a local sports park, because I was in the area and had some time, and try and take a few sports photos. And some of the things I noticed while I was trying this were that the ball has basically got to be in every photo, right? In every shot. To bring context to the photo. Second, your autofocus and your focus needs to be on point. Whether you're leaving your camera up to it for tracking modes or whether you're trying to place your focus points yourself, it's really tricky. And I actually found my focus point was mostly towards the center of the frame, which meant I had very little headroom in my shots. I needed to bring the focus point down further on the frame. I also found that the shots aren't really that great unless the subject fills the frame, but it's also really hard to zoom in and then maintain some sort of peripheral awareness as to what's going on to anticipate the decisive moment. And the other thing I noticed was it was freezing down pitch side. Oh my gosh, it was so, so cold. A lady came up to me and she said, don't you feel the cold? And right at that second, I was just on the way back to the car to get my jacket. But anyway, it was an interesting time, something that was interesting to try different than what I normally do. And I also want to say, happy birthday Amity! It was my daughter Amity's birthday over the weekend, she was turning 19. Uh, really exciting times, happy birthday, always a great time when it's someone's birthday. And then it was back to the walk to work! And we had a beautiful winter's morning, almost a summery, just chilly, but brisk. Invigorating. I like it when it's brisk and crisp like that. So just a few shots also taken on the walk to work of our magnificent Wellington Harbour on a glorious morning, a glorious winter's morning. Get out of the way ambulance. People have got places to go, people have got places to be. We don't have time to wait for medical emergencies. Oh! And we're gonna just wind down with a few random shots taken throughout the week. And yes, it was quite an interesting week. I've got a couple of jobs coming up this weekend, so it's gonna be a busy one in photography for me. What about you? Thank you so much for watching photos from the week this week. I hope you have an awesome weekend. Take it easy out there. We'll catch you next time. Bye.